So um, in terms of actually now breaking down paragraph by paragraph, sentence by sentence, what strategy did you use, and was it a strategy that is being used system-wide, and how did that look in the class? We did use a strategy called Rewrite Talk. Um, and that is something that we do use system-wide, and we also annotate the text. Um, that is also system-wide. Um, I have, for the last five years, done system-level trainings. And so for the last five years, we you know, talked a lot about reading comprehension strategies and ways to access um, text. And I have done a training, actually, on Stephanie Harvey's um, strategy of Read, Write, Talk, where a student reads, then they write down their thinking, they annotate the text, or she calls it marginalia. They you know, make margin notes and then they talk to a partner and they might glean some more information that they didn't think of before because two heads are always better than one. Right. Um, what we did with this was we kind of flip-flopped the um, write and the talk and I had them read a paragraph, they could partner read it or they could read it silently, but then they turned and they talked to a partner before they wrote because okay. it was complex. I kind of tweaked it up a bit. Right. If they just wrote, it may not have been as right. strong as if they had spoken about it first right. and gotten right. that support. Right. Um, so in the writing part, tell me a little more about the annotation and what how students annotate the text in fourth grade. Well, do you want to go ahead? Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> we, um, basically, we would look at Sometimes it was sentence by sentence, like you said, and they would just write out what they thought that sentence meant. Um, I know there was a section about um, a siren, and Patrick Henry was comparing a siren to King George. A siren as in the mythical siren. As in a mermaid. Right. And we had read previously another text that included that, which there was no pre-planning that happened. That just... It was nice because when we got to that sentence, they all knew what a siren was. And that background knowledge, that schema that they had already received with another text was invaluable. But be because of that, just even that one sentence, they were able to write out to the side, oh, the mermaid, they might have changed siren to mermaid because that's a more um, user-friendly word for them to remember. Um, or in another sentence, they might have written something that I don't understand what this means. They want to put a question mark. And then they were they would know to talk to their partner. What is this? Did you have a question about this? And if they both had a question, they might raise their hand and say, Miss Wright, I don't understand. We, we don't know what this means. And if we were walking around, if I was walking around, or the two of us were, and we saw a lot of question marks on that one specific spot, we knew this is one that we want to talk about as a whole group. Um, but that's kind of... So you've trained the students really from an early age to mark the text with specific reactions, mm -hmm. whether it's a question or a reaction or a connection right. or something else. They've been doing this, and it's a habit. This wasn't the first time they've ever done it. No. <laughs> it was Do Patrick you want to tell about Article of the Week? Oh, well, we, here at West End, we have Article of the Week, and we have them in all of our classes just about at some time or another. We don't have uh, an Article of the Week in every class every week. But in reading, they, they have an article of the week. And it's, it's something that is an article that's um, based on um, a current event, something that's happening in our world, to kind of connect them, you know, with world happenings. And they use Read, Write, Talk strategies with that article of the week, underlining a new word that they've never seen before, one that they don't understand, writing a reaction in, in, a, in the margin, um, putting a question mark or an exclamation mark of, of a wow factor, wow, something that's really neat that, that they might want to share. So you've you know, been so. teaching them these comprehension, annotation, and sort of reader um, response mm -hmm. strategies with more accessible text. So now when you bring right. in more complex text, mm -hmm. you, you're not teaching those strategies along with the complex text. They already right. know those right. strategies. Right. And right. now they're able to apply it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, I think I that's know. probably an important point. They're not mm -hmm. doing both the new strategy and the text at one time. Right. Okay, anything else about read, write, talk, about vocabulary in terms of how they learn vocabulary as they're reading this difficult text? Because that's one of the real barriers in this. Well, we certainly did not, or I did not, and I know Kim did we didn't say, okay, here's the list of your vocabulary words from this. We used them and, and looked at them from within the context of the piece. And, of course, being a piece written, 
you know, hundreds of years ago, the the vocabulary, some of it was, you know, very, very different than the than the way we talk here in, you know, in, in the in the 2013, 2012. <laughs> so we um, would talk to them about how these words, we would break them down and, and look at them within the context, use context clues. And then, of course, some of the words they had schema about because we had been talking about this mm -hmm. in social studies. Correct. Again, going back to your, you know, cross-curriculum, right. um, being able to, to see those vocabulary words there. And um, we would, um, you know, just making sure that they understood the meaning of the words and, and how they were used in context. And most of the time, they taught each other or thought it through themselves. Really? It was not something that we had to say, okay, here's this word and this is what it means. We, mm -hmm. we did and not And about the that. dictionary, how, did the dictionary come out a lot? Honestly. We didn't bring it out a lot. We did, um, I mean, we did some every once in a while. Yeah. It would be in the context right. of teaching and the other yeah. person in the classroom might go grab it real quick and, right. you know. Not very and often they would no. use, we would say, what does this word make you think of? Right. Have you ever heard anything that sounds similar to this right. word? Yeah. Or in this sentence, what word might make sense? And so we made them kind of think through um, what they, their prior knowledge about a word that was this word or a similar word. Mm -hmm. Like siren, mm -hmm. if we had not read mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. past text, um, they might have thought about a siren on a fire truck. Right. right. Um, and so that's kind of how the vocabulary okay. came out evolved. And, and evolved. So, yeah. it's, so again, it's probably a strategy they've been using all year, mm -hmm. and then they just apply it here to a more difficult text. Right. True. Right. Okay. So um, our next section, we're going to look at writing <coughs> and look at how you transition the students to writing about what they're reading.